Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the arrow feature is not working properly on Windows 7. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu, just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And you want to type in Troubleshooting. Underneath Control Panel, you want to left click on the Troubleshooting option. Now underneath Appearance and Personalization, you want to left click on that one time. And now underneath Desktop Experience Arrow, Display Arrow Effects such as Transparency, you want to double click on that. So Troubleshooting Help Prevent Computer Problems, Arrow, Display Arrow Effects such as Transparency. Underneath Advanced, left click on that. And you want to make sure it's checkmarked to apply repairs automatically. Left click on Next here. This will take a little bit of time, so just please be patient. So if you get something that says upgrade this additional windows, just left click on next. So if for some reason you're getting this kind of issue, just maybe run some windows updates. However, for most people this probably is not going to resolve the issue. So but I do like doing that first because it's usually the least invasive. So just close out of here. The next option would be after you restart your computer to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a prompt saying do you want to allow this program to make changes to this computer, left click on yes. So now I would suggest before we get too far in the video that you do create a back above your registry. So just go up to the file tab at the top, left click on export. You want to save it as whatever you want and then just save it to the desktop, it's probably preferred. So if you ever made a mistake, you just go back in and import it. So pretty straightforward. So once we're done with that, I would highly suggest you guys expand the HK current user folder right here just by left clicking on the little arrow next to it. Once you've done that, you want to expand the software folder. And now you want to expand the Microsoft folder as well. You want to scroll down to get to Windows right here. Expand that. And now you want to select DMW here. Now on the right side here, we want to create a couple values. So the first one we want to do is right click on the blank area on the right side, left click on new, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. You want to name this first value user machine check, exactly how it appears on my screen. So uppercase user, uppercase machine, and uppercase check. There's no spaces in between any of these entries. Hit enter. You want to double click on this, make sure value is set to zero. One to now, underneath that, go to right click again, left click new, and then select the word 32 bit value once more. You want to type in blur, so B L U R, then hit enter. And now we want to right click once more, left click on new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Type in animations, then hit enter. Again, you want to make sure all the value data is set to zero, and you can see that on the right side here as well. And zero hexadecimal doesn't really matter, zero is zero. So once you've done that, I would recommend closing out of here. Open the start menu just by left clicking on the start button. Type in CMD. Best match on a program should come back with CMD. Right click on it. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in NET, so net, space, stop, another space UXSMS so again net stop UXSMS exactly how it appears on my screen then you want to hit enter this will take a moment to run this command please be patient so you can see what we just did we just turned the Windows Manager session stopped and then we have successfully stopped it just basically confirming that and now that you've done that, now we're going to start it up again. So now we're going to type in net space start space UX SMS, exactly how it appears on my screen. Hit enter. We're going to start up the service. If the screen flashes black for a moment, do not be concerned. So once you've successfully started the service back up, I would still suggest restarting your computer in any event. And hopefully this should resolve Windows arrow issues. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.